Welcome back. We're here looking at the foreign exchange market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, August 12, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you will hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So let's start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. So the US dollar index uh, fell quite drastically today. And of course, that helps us quite a lot, even though we have been declining for the last two weeks now, more of a two uh, week and a half. So uh, we found major uh, support down here at the 300 moving average. It looked like we were going to fall apart, but the uh, CPI number that really helped the market, but still it hasn't changed that much. We tested uh, 40 exponential moving average and pulled back from there. If we break above the 100 moving average, and then we could be looking at this uh, change, change in basically the trend, but still we're basically well, we have been in the downtrend since the beginning of, of June, and it's uh, more likely looks like we are going to drop towards the 300 moving average before uh, we break above the 100 moving average. So we're right in the middle here of the, the, in the Bollinger Band. MACD is flat, RSI is bearish, CGI is bearish, and stochastic is bearish as well at this point. So US dollar, Japanese yen. So this broke above the resistance level and then just fell down again. So yes, this has been an area of major resistance. We saw it here, we saw it here and yet again now. So if we have another red candlestick here tomorrow, then we may see something similar to this that basically happened the last two times we have been testing this uh, um, resistance level. We are basically at the top of uh, the Bollinger Band, fairly overstretched, so a pullback towards the middle or even the bottom, that could be possible. Break above here, and then we're looking at the highs yet again. MACD is uh, bullish, RSI is flat, CCI is bullish, and the stochastic is bullish as well. So we have been rallying quite significantly, and of course that affects these uh, technical indicators which are basically lagging, but if we have another red candlestick here, then they will definitely change direction. So Euro US dollar, we have found supported down here at the 1170. It was expected if we broke below the, this level that we will drop down to 1160, but it looks like we are going to rally up towards the 20 or 40, 50 moving average, uh, but probably before continuing lower. So 50, 40, and the 20 exponential moving average have all offered resistance, as you can see here. And uh, at the moment, the floor is 1170, break below here, then 1160 will come into play. We are basically at the bottom of the bullish band, so a rally up towards the middle here, roughly half a percent increase that up towards the 20 exponential that could be expected. MACD is a bearish, the RSI is bearish, CCI is also bearish, and so is the stochastic after this massive fall here from the 50 moving average. So Aussie dollar, US dollar, we can see that we have rallied after the CPI number. And uh, same thing here, the bottom is uh, 0.73. Break below that, then we could drop down to 0.69 or, or 0.70. Uh, but at this current stage, this support level is holding and it's probably just a matter of time before we roll over and break down from here. Uh, we have, it has been looking really weak. US dollar did, did pull back today, but kind of that was just a minor pullback and is it expected to continue its rally and that will work against this currency pair so macd is bullish rsi is flat cgi is flat stochastic is still bearish but becoming bullish here and we're right above the middle of the bullish band so we could see this continue rallying up towards down 40 exponential roughly 0 0.74 and the 50 moving average just above that 0 0.745 that could be where we'll find resistance and they will buy, we'll be buying this to the downside or selling to the downside, I was supposed to say. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, we can see that this continues to drop, but we still are kind of just gradually grinding higher. We have been, uh, we have pulled back yesterday and also today towards the uh, 50 moving average, but we have found support right here at the 200 moving average. If we um, if we take out these candlesticks here, then we could go back towards the 300 moving average, roughly at 1270. So MACD is bearish, RSI is flat, CCI is flat, and stochastic is bearish. So momentum is definitely to the downside at this point. It's kind of question how far this will go, 
But considering the trend that we have been on, I would be surprised if we broke below the 50 moving average. If we break beneath the 100 moving average, then we could actually be heading back towards this channel. But at the moment, I definitely think that in the long term, this is going to rally to the upside. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.